Hey there, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. It's been a while, so I figured time to do another ramen review video. I've been actually holding on to this bag of ramen for a little bit now, but I think I had the time, and it's finally about time to show you what it is. This is Sriracha Ramen. I don't know if you can see it's kind of cut there, but it's from Samyang. That's the same brand that the Pokemon Fire Noodle Challenge noodles. But they now have this Sriracha Ramen. You can see they have a nice green on top, red on the back. They even show like a picture of a bottle. And they have actually have like a little nifty guide here that shows you where on the scale of spice this would be. And this is actually a two pepper out of five. If you can see it up here, duh, 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 pepper scale. And then all of the top, the five pepper one is, I don't know if you can see that, but that is the symbol for the fire noodles, the Bokemion fire noodles, the black box with the red lettering. But uh, you have a spiraliness in the front there. Um, and sriracha rum, so it's supposed to taste like sriracha. And it says the sour, spicy taste of sriracha sauce, loved by people all over the world. Now I do have, next to me, a bottle of sriracha. So that way I can compare flavors, see if it really tastes like it, and if it's not spicy enough, I'll add more to it. There you go, side by side. I don't know if they are using this brand of sriracha, but they're definitely trying to look like it. Um, but this is the brand that most people, at least in America, are used to. And uh, so, give you a little background of how this was put together here. Boiled noodles, of course. You empty the noodles out. Um, gives you a little bit of flake, which has like some cabbage and carrot and fake meat, which is probably like a soy-based protein. And uh, you put that in there to hydrate. You drain all the water out. Then you add this little guy, the sriracha ramen sauce. Before I taste the actual ramen, I want to do a little bit of taste test. And the color of these are way different. This is like a way darker, it's like brown flavored. But I'm just going to put a little dab of sriracha here. Just a little dab. That's sriracha. It's garlicky. Peppery, spicy. Now I'm just going to squeeze out a little bit of this sriracha sauce they gave me for the ramen. And now I know it's not completely fair to test this out back to back because it's a ramen, it's, it's a sauce that's flavored like sriracha. But also it's like chicken and other things involved. Yeah, there's definitely more of a meaty flavor in this one. Yeah, saltier too. Saltier, meatier, than just straight sriracha. So I'm gonna go ahead and, this is a pretty cool thing I got. Um, it came like this, use it as a fork, or you can use it as chopsticks, or you can just split it up like I have here. But even if you split it, you can still use the prongy ends. But let's just use the regular ends here some chopsticks. This is what the finished product looks like. <coughs> A little bit of spice cake to me. Yeah, compared to a lot of the other Samyang spices, this is definitely lower. So if you if you uh, were worried about the fire noodles being too hot, but you still wanted to try some Korean noodles, 
The sriracha one would not be terrible. Gives you a little bit of the spice, but a lot of the flavor. And then by itself, it's all right. Probably seven and a half out of ten range, but the kick up the sriracha. Now it's going to be extra sriracha flavored. Four times this time. Definitely gave it a kick. I think that brightened it a lot. There definitely is a little bit of sourness to it now I'm tasting it. I didn't really taste it before. Now that I added more sriracha to it, I feel like a little sourness. Yeah. This sriracha definitely kicks up the heat. So if you're worried about heat, don't add any more to it, of course. But if you want that more authentically sriracha flavor. If you just want to kick the heat up, add some sriracha to the sriracha run. Make a sriracha section. And uh, I would say, like I said, by itself it's about an 8 out of 10. Add the sriracha, probably give it another half point. So I'm going to give this an 8.5 out of 10. Oh! Hope you like this video. Hope you like uh, hope you like all my ramen reviews. Um, I've done a lot of them. Don't know when the next one will be. Don't have anything new uh, in my closet or anything new that I'm thinking about doing anytime soon. So this might be the last ramen review for at least a while. Hope you enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel. Next time, so long.